Welcome to the Opera GX Corner and my top 8 video games you can play on a potato PC. Well, who am I? My name is Bald Zebra and I'm a variety streamer over on Twitch. I stream as often as I can, as many games as I can. And I know the struggle of the low-end PC. I've been playing games since Atari came out. And if you're looking for some great recommendations on some games that'll work on any potato, come with me and I'll show you some great ones. So starting off with Subnautica, Subnautica is an underwater adventure game set on an alien ocean planet and from personal experience it is one of the best survival single player games out there. Oh yeah, watch out for that. From gameplay to soundtrack to storyline, Subnautica is amazing. It came out in 2014 with low recommended specs, it should be able to be played on almost any PC. Look at him, poor guy. Wish I could have warned him. This was from one of my first Twitch streams, and I really screamed. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. From one single player game to another, this game will appeal to old school gamers and new school gamers alike. They've dubbed it a Roguevania. Check out Dead Cells. Really? It's a roguelike Souls-like. You die, reborn, die, and reborn, and it does have some Metroid elements to it. It reminds you of Castlevania, Metroid, all these old school games that we grew up with, along with a new school flair. Well, I would put this in a little bit more of the tryhard category, the casual gamer might be frustrated with it. The amount of awards it's won and the laughable amount of recommended specs makes this game one of the best potato PC games out there. From Dead Cells, we're going to go into something a little bit different. Are you a city builder or someone that hates disorganization? Do you want to slowly, meticulously build a giant factory where you can have everything running at peak performance? I've got a game for you. Factorio is a game all about building and maintaining factories. You mine resources, research technologies, build infrastructure, automate production, and sometimes even fight enemies. You start off transporting things by hand, but eventually you can automate things, and that's where a lot of the satisfaction in this game really comes into play. When we talk about recommended specs or even minimal specs, this game is almost the bottom of the barrel. You can get your satisfaction out of a game that literally a potato could run. Not literally. So we've talked a lot about single player games, and this is a great single player game that you can also play multiplayer and it has the same rules as life. Just don't starve. So Don't Starve is an uncompromising wilderness survival game full of science and magic. Uh, some of the main features of it are no instructions, no help, no hand holding. You start with nothing, craft, hunt, and research everything. You fight to survive and you fight to farm. It is hard, but it is really satisfying. It feels inspired almost by Tim Burton and has just an amazing charm to it. With a game that has extremely low recommended specs, it came out in 2013, it just had a quality of life update in April of 2023. Do you ever want to just kick back, relax with a card game? Yeah, me neither. I need a little bit more action. If you're looking for a potato PC game with a little bit more action that you can relax with, sometimes it's hard to find. Don't worry, I've got one for you. Check out Slay the Spire. So Slay the Spire is just one of those games that gets in your blood and in your brain. It's a brain worm of the highest caliber and it's magical. And with a game that has no recommended video card at all, almost anyone with any machine can play this. So I do like these hack and slash rogue lights, and this is one of my favorite ones on the list. And it's not because I have daddy issues. But if my dad was the god of the underworld trying to keep me there forcibly, I would have issues with that and try and fight him too. So check out Hades, it's an amazing game with an Olympic style twist. With the game coming from Supergiant Games, it has an award even from Time Magazine. You remember Supergiant, they're the ones that brought us Bastion years ago. This game has a soundtrack that has no business going as hard as it does, and if you can't find some beauty in the scenery, you're just not watching. Try and stop me.
So we're gonna step down the action a little bit, but we're keeping the intensity. I need people who can keep hope alive in the darkest scenarios. People that understand that everyone is flawed and how to make those flaws work for them and rise to the challenge. That sounds like you. Darkest Dungeon is your game. So in this game, you lead a group of flawed heroes through an entire dungeon. You recruit, train, and lead them through. Everyone has flaws and it's about dealing with them along with making your party stronger. While your characters will continue to get hurt, your PC will be fine. With a low impact on it and a low recommended specs, you should be able to play from start to finish on any machine. While I think of myself as someone with a good voice, the narrator for this game is so perfect for it, he makes me question my own abilities. The human mind. Fragile. Like a robin's egg. Whew. Chills. Last game of the list, and it's full of cool stuff. Single player or local multiplayer? Check out Cuphead. Cuphead is inspired by the cartoons of the 1930s. They're traditionally hand-drawn cell animation, and it's heavily focused on boss battles. It's a hard game that is great for single or multiplayer and can run on a low-end machine. What else can you want? Thank you for watching. Let me know which ones you like, and hopefully this shows you that there are games out there for any potato under the sun, including you. Thank you for being here. Thank you.